What's up guys, welcome to Supercars of London and our final day in Dubai. And today we have been split up. It is me and Sam versus Seb and Tim. Seb and Tim are on a McLaren Owners Club, the, the only and first McLaren Owners Club ever to be created. So they're off doing that. So their videos are gonna be slightly different to ours. We are going car spotting because as we're in Dubai, there are many supercars here. So we're gonna be doing that and also gonna be tapping up a few well-known dealerships out here in Dubai. So this is gonna be a mixture of car spotting and our sheer idiots go car shopping. There's only two of us, so normally there's more. And normally we- still buy cars though. Yeah, <laughs> or we can attempt to buy cars. So uh, let's just see what we can find. I know that Dubai is literally crawling with hypercars. Um, as we were lucky enough to catch that LFA last night, so uh, which you wouldn't have seen because it's going in a separate video. So our first place we've come to visit is Alan Class Motors, but it's shut because it's National Day, which we knew, but we wanted to come in and have a look through the window anyway. So, LaFerrari, 918, Huayra, Blue Aventador, I think there's a Hurricane and F12. I can see the blue Koenigsegg doors there. A nice Aventador, McLaren, Volcano Orange, 650S, the Enzo's there, SLR, we've also got a Koenigsegg CCX here in full carbon. Difficult to show you, but it's shut. So what we have found whilst we've been in Dubai is that there are many places that you can see cars and I suppose experts, car spotting experts or veterans that have been in Dubai for a long period of time We'll say that the malls, the valets, and also the hotels are the best places to come and find some cars. We have just found this patch of grass in the shade, and we're basically just gonna stand on this motorway and hope that we can catch some cool cars. This is the most ridiculous car in the world that we've come to the motorway. <laughs> yeah.
Next stop is the Dubai Mall. So we went to the Emirates, the Mall of the Emirates, yeah. last time. This is the Dubai Mall. It's apparently bigger. Um, and hopefully better. Better, yeah. So here we go, we're at the mall. And it is absolutely massive. We've got the Burj Khalifa at the other side of the building. Look at how insane this is. And we've got like a, oh, it looks like matte gold. Looks pretty badass. Yeah. Matte gold GTR. So those cars aren't getting as much attention as two cars up here are getting. Is it a 488? There's a yellow 488 up here. And it is getting a bit more swarmed than the cars back there. We have left the car park and now we're looking for the Burj Khalifa, which you'd think isn't too hard to find. So we can just go back. So we need to go back this way. And we found it. This looks awesome around here. The water looks so blue. Oh wow. That was annoyingly the worst footage of an Aventador I've ever got here in Dubai. So we're back where we started and that is an afternoon car spotting in Dubai. I'm absolutely shattered, it is so hot here. And, uh, I need to cross this tram without getting run over. So I will say thank you for watching. Make sure that you subscribe if you haven't already. There's still quite a few videos to come of us in Dubai. Hopefully this evening we're gonna have a lot of fun as it's National Day with a few supercars, so that should be good, and then traveling home, so um, it's time to say goodbye. Goodbye. Bye. The acceleration of this car is about to be tested. So track definitely livens up the throttle response, that is for sure. And um, we've got a Cadillac behind us. We've got like a proper executive Cadillac behind us, which is, um, well, I suppose this is what it feels like to have this car in my wing mirror. It is seriously aggressive, those lights. And there it goes. <laughs> All those gear shifts are lightning quick. I wasn't expecting them to be that quick. Wow, that even scared me a little bit. What I had in mind for this video